Hey yo, what's good YouTube, it's your boy team back again. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to display your Eurofan ads on your Blogger or your WordPress site. So this implies that even though Eurofan haven't approved you yet, you can actually show your ads on your Blogger site that is not even approved on AdSense. Yes, it is possible. So to do that, stick around to the end of this video. Please, if you're new, consider liking and then subscribe, join the family, let's go. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so this is my laptop screen and if you look at my screen, you're gonna see an AdSense account and this account actually belongs to my YoFan account. Okay, so now I know you might be wondering, how is that even possible when YoFan has not even verified your account and then you want to show ads on your site? Now, the twist is this. We're not going to show ads on the YoFan account itself. Rather, we're going to be showing ads on the blogger site or the WordPress site. Okay, so now how do you do that actually? Because it's kind of sketchy and all of that. Come down, let me show you how to... Do that now before you do that you need two things now one of it is your publisher id and then the link to your yofan account okay what did i say your publisher id and then the link to your yofan account okay now once you get those two things ready now you're going to dive into your blogger or your wordpress dashboard to do the magic okay so now first of all you copy your publisher id so in case you don't know where your publisher id is just check at the top um, link you have here. So this code is actually your um, publisher ID. Okay, copy it. So another way you can actually get it is to go to your account, go to your account, and then go to your settings and then account information. Okay, so um, once you get here, you see your publisher ID here. So just copy it. So now if you copy it and head over to um, this site called um, Yofan ad code generator.blogspot.com. Yofan ad code generator.blogspot.com. Okay, so now this is where you um, make the magic happen. Okay, so first of all, you paste the publisher ID here. So if you paste it here, go ahead and copy your Yofan link. So I'm going to use this one, copy it. So um, in case you don't have your Yofan account already, just go, go to Yofan, um, you.fan actually. Go to you.fan actually then. Go ahead and click on get started create your account read the requirements make up to 30 posts and get up to 50 users but those requirements is not compulsory for you to start displaying ads on your site so even if you've not met all those requirements with your fund you can still show ads on your site just by registering on adsense and then adding the site you created that's the one you register right here just go ahead and add it to your site okay so if you add it to your site you're gonna see it just here so as you can see once it shows ready that means you're good to go. Okay, once it shows ready, you're good to go. You can still continue posting and then, you know, getting your your fan site prepared or standard. Okay, meanwhile, you're still showing out on other blogger sites or WordPress sites. So you can see here, it's only the your fan account that we have right here. Okay, so now once you head over to this place, um, go ahead and copy your your fan account link. That is the actual account you registered and go ahead and copy then come right here and then paste it here okay so if you paste it here sorry control v paste it here go ahead and click on generate code okay so let me delete this let me delete this. so go ahead and click on generate code okay let me refresh so go ahead and click on generate code so if you click on generate code you're going to see this long code that's going to come up so go ahead and copy that so copy the code that is your custom code so if you copy that code now the next thing is to head over to your blogger site or your wordpress site so i'm going to start with blogger first so let's head over to this blogger site called um ziploaded.blogspot.com okay so um if you're using custom theme that is if you actually use another theme that is not the blogger um default themes you can still use this method that you can still use the code and paste it on your site then you can also use the default blogger team and still make this work so now how do you make it work with this so once you head over to your site go to layout so if you go to layout then scroll to um any place you can paste your html code okay so for this one now you can see this is where one of the places i added mine so click on this advertisement or rather any option that is there for yours so this is the code that i pasted very long just go ahead and save it okay so let me show you guys how to add another one so if you come to your 
blog that you're going to see all these gadget options so you can as well click on add gadget and then select, select html um slash javascript so you can give it a title let's say add at two okay so let's go ahead and click on it and then save it okay save it so now let's head over to the site mind you this is a site that is not adsense approved this is a site that i've not um been approved by adsense let's go to the end so that you see by yourself okay so you can see your blog isn't ready to show ads yet okay so now let's head over and see how the site is looking like okay let's know if our ads is going to show okay so let's refresh okay so now after pasting it actually you're going to see it display right there so you can see ads too you can see the ads is showing so this is an adsense ad showing on our site okay this is an adsense site adsense ad showing on our site now you can actually show this on any part of your site be it inside the post or the footer or the header part of your site so it depends on how you want to do that okay so now let me show you guys how to add it inside your post okay now if you come to your post right here now let's use this one that i already made for example so click on it and you're gonna see this option right here so the compose is to put it in this text format why the html is to put it in the html format okay now we need it to be in this html format so that we can actually display our ads right there so now if you want to paste that code click on the very first one before the div icon before the div text that is paste it right here so now we've pasted it if you scroll up this the ads code and then you can actually preview it before you make it go live on your site okay it's as simple as that and um let's wait for it let's wait for it so you can see right here this is the ads code showing you right here and this is the one you actually pasted by yourself at the sidebar of your layout okay so this is how to actually make it appear this is another one that i pasted before okay so you can as well put it at the end of the post that if you, if you want it to appear right at the end of the post you can just go ahead and paste it right here as well okay so let's preview again loading 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 and allow it to load okay so let's let's give it a little bit of time now let me say something now if you're done doing this it's gonna take like a few minutes probably five two three four five it's not just gonna exceed five minutes or let's just say ten minutes your ads is gonna show on your site so if it doesn't show that means there is something you're actually not doing correctly so make sure you follow this video step by step step by step so that you can actually grab everything so you can see right here the, the ads is now showing right at the bottom of the site so you can go ahead and save this you can go ahead and update it and then check our site okay i'm gonna go ahead and update it and then check your site Okay, you can see the ads popping up right here right here and then right here as well and then right here so these are you can actually manually put it on a blogger site now let me show you guys how to do it on a wordpress site so it's still the same process um head over to your wordpress okay i don't want to actually use two sites for my adsense that is one adsense actually okay but then if you want to do it for your wordpress go over to wordpress so let's head over to this wordpress So it is supposed to work for two sites actually, but I tried it and it didn't work. So, but then I've seen people that tried it and it works for two sites, but then notwithstanding, just don't take the risk of putting two AdSense codes on two sites. Okay, just put it on one, then open another um, um, your fan account and then try it out on another. So just like that, you have two AdSense account for yourself. So this is a WordPress dashboard. So if you want to paste your ad code on it, that is, if you want to put it on a WordPress account, simply install this um, plugin called Ads Inserter. So to install that, go to Plugins, go to Add New. So if you go to Add New, um, let's allow it to load. So let's see how the site is actually looking like on its own. Let's use another um, tab. So this is this is the site actually. Okay, this is the site. Let me load it. So this site is actually taking forever to load i don't know why okay so this is the plugin part 
this is the plugin part. Just go ahead and search for at um inserter. At inserter it's supposed to show up right here. So this is the plugin go ahead and install it and then activate it so once you do that you're going to be able to access your ads inserter so if you want to access it kindly go to your settings if you go to your settings then locate this ads inserter okay so click on it if you click on it it's going to allow you to paste your code in the blocks so you can actually decide where you want it to appear just like the normal way you paste your adsense code paste it here then select post you can either Decide to put it before your paragraph, after paragraph, between images, sorry, between um, posts, um, after image, or whatever option you want to select. So just like that, also put it in your home page. Okay. So anywhere you want, you can actually do it and then go ahead and save your settings. Save your settings. Or you can also decide to use another plugin called Code Sniper. It's actually insert header and footer. Okay. Insert header and footer. That's the name of the plugin then use the header and footer option to put the art code and then save it give it some minutes it's going to show up on your site and once it does go to your header and footer part then paste the code and after that you go ahead and save it okay once it does shows then you're going to start seeing adsense ads display on your site so that's simply how to actually do it on your blogger and your wordpress so this is something that a lot of people actually charge um, a good chunk of money to do for people but here am i showing you guys how to do it for free okay all i need from you is just to go ahead and smash this subscribe button smash the subscribe button subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram at dunting tv and on my facebook at dunting tv also drop a like on this video drop a like on this video let it get to more people then if you know anybody that is struggling with your fan or probably trying to get get approved or you know doing all of that and it's not working for him or her go ahead and show him or her this video so that he or she can actually get approved that is start showing us on her side or his side so with that being said i'm going to see you guys in my next video please stay safe and merry christmas in advance